Bridging your assets to the Starknet network can be extremely difficult, especially since the Orbital Finance bridge is now under maintenance, and bridging your funds from the Ethereum network can be extremely expensive. Today I'll be showing you the best alternative that can use to bridge your funds over to Starknet, and along the way, it may also be possible for you to qualify for an airdrop as well. The bridge that I'm using today is known as Layer Swap, and this was something that I covered previously in my other video. The user interface has changed slightly, so today I'll be performing a transfer via this bridge over to Starknet. The first part is the from field and this will depend on where your funds are they wish to transfer over to Starknet. In this case I have some wrap Ethereum on the Polygon network that I wish to send over to Starknet so I can select Polygon here. There are a variety of different networks that you can use to send your funds over to layer swap. So apart from the Polygon network there are also other different event compatible networks and even the Solana network where you can send your funds over for any of these networks and you can use layer swap to bridge them over to Starknet. So if you have some of your funds on a centralized exchange like Coinbase, KuCoin or Binance, you can also withdraw the funds from any of these exchanges and send them over to the wallet address that's given by layer swap. But today I'll just be bridging over from the Polygon network and this is one of my favorite networks as the gas fees are extremely low as compared to other networks like Arbitrum, Optimism or the BNB Smart Chain. For the destination, it allows me to select a variety of different networks as well. And in this case, since we are bridging over to Starknet, I'll just select this option here. So now we need to enter the amount of the cryptocurrency that we wish to send over to Starknet. In the case of the Polygon network, it is possible for you to send either Wrap Ethereum or USDC over to this network. Some of the networks such as Solana will only allow you to send USDC over to Starknet. However, you may want to note that you need to pay your gas fees in the form of Ethereum. So it'd be best for you to bridge your Ethereum from any of these different networks over to Starknet. I've entered the amount of Ethereum that I wish to transfer over. And the next part will be to enter my Starknet wallet address. For this example, I'll be bridging over my funds to my Argent X wallet so I can copy my address here and paste it in the field. So layer swap charges about 0.0015 Ethereum for every transaction that you make. And this is roughly about $2.70 in USD. So it may be best for you to bridge over a larger amount of Ethereum. So it helps to reduce the percentage that this fee takes from the total amount that you're bridging over. So layer swap is also one of the more popular ways for you to bridge your funds over to Starknet. And because of the increased activity on this network, there is some congestion as well. It may take an hour before you receive your funds in your Starknet wallet. So after clicking on swap now, you just need to confirm some of the details. And this will be the total amount that you receive after layer swap has deducted the fees. Now we have confirmed the bridging transaction. And the next step is that we need to send over our funds to layer swap's wallet address, which can be seen here. So what I like about layer swap is that it has this option to send your funds directly from your wallet. And this will bring up the prompt for you to send your funds over to this address. The fees are extremely cheap on our Polygon network. And it only costs me one cent to perform this transaction where I'm transferring my funds over to layer swap's wallet. And once layer swap has received your funds, they'll begin with the bridging transaction. I recommend that you link your email address to layer swap as this will help you to keep track of all of the different bridging transactions that you make using this platform. I've already performed a few of these transactions from Polygon to Starknet and it took quite a while for the funds to be bridged over to my Starknet wallet. If you're interested in finding out more ways to qualify for the Starknet airdrop, I've already done a video on some of the steps that I've performed and you can check that video out in the description below. The most annoying thing about Starknet wallets is that it's not possible to merge the accounts that you have on both Bravos and Argent X and this could affect how you farm for the Starknet airdrop. My video here will explain more about this problem and what my strategy is moving forward. 